welcome back to another episode of New Divide Outdoors. Today I just got home from work and it's been a while, but finally we have some Egyptian geese down at the feeder. So hopefully I can get a stalk on them, which it's not really stalk, but hopefully I can get within range and put an arrow through one of them and see about cooking one of them bad boys up because I have been trying to do this for quite some time. So let me just show y'all guys a little preview of them real quick. There they are, right there. So. Oh gosh. I really hope I can get one. That would be awesome. So I think what I'm gonna do is basically the feeder is right here i'm gonna try to get up to those trees it should be like 15 yards from there so we'll see hopefully it all goes as planned so let's get to it Y'all, that was freaking awesome. Heck yeah, I smoked them. Jeez, I cannot wait to go down there and check this out. Piled up birds just right on the other side of that bank. So, let's go check this out. There's the feeder. We've got feathers on the ground. That first one, shot it. Shot that first one. About right here, I'd say. Oh. See my arrow right there. Head. Yeah. There's the arrow. Bloody. Let's see if y'all can see that. Come back over here. We've got the feathers. We got blood. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And a bird. Heck yeah. Oh man. Dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I freaking did it finally. Got me some of these. Heck yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. Man. Did a number. Whew. Heck yeah. Alright, let's find another one. Stop right here. And I shot from right there. So we got blood 
All right here. Heck yeah. Board there. Goes off like this. Down this way. And we got another dead bird. Check that out. Heck yeah. Oh, we smoked him. Oh man. Heck yes. This is the first time I've seen these geese back here since, shoot. Uh, well, heck since I shot those ducks, which was well over, probably like two months ago. They were here when I got off and just decided to rush down here and, and see what I could do. So, got it done, got both of them. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for, for uh, at least, shoot, at least a year now. And finally, finally happened for me, so I'm, I'm freaking stoked. I cannot wait to try these guys out and see what they taste like. So, yeah, I would, I would show you guys the, uh, the carnage, especially on this one. I don't think YouTube would allow that, but shoot, you guys got to see the, see the shots and everything. It's, uh, it's pretty hot out here. I think the ants are probably starting to get to these guys, and I'm gonna see about starting to cut them up. So I'll show y'all how to do that, and, and then. Uh, about taking them to the kitchen and cooking them up. And what we're gonna do is basically just like you do any other game bird. We're just gonna split the breast, pull it open, shave off each side of the breast, and then we'll be done. Peel that breast bone right there. The easiest thing to do is just pull that skin up, push the knife through that, give you a slit, I didn't get it, so let me do it again. There we go. Okay. So we got that slit in the skin. Now all you gotta do, just run your finger inside there, and you can just rip all this open. So as you can see there, I've split the breast feathers open, exposing are two sides of the breast right there. So, from there, let me get some of these feathers off of there. We'll just take our knife, run it right along that breastbone right there. It runs this way, just like that. Do just that, and then start filleting it down each side. There you have it, is one side of the breast. Get this, we'll get this other side. All right, and as you can see, that's a little bit of arrow broadhead damage there, but it'll be all right. It's a lot smaller breast than what I had imagined, but still some some new meat to try, and we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Got them all cleaned up, and we'll see about getting these guys marinated. So first thing we'll do, use this uh, sort of meat tenderizer uh, deal. It basically just pokes holes in the meat, and uh, do that on this side where you, know, you have a little bit of silver skin. That way, when we marinate these, the uh, marinade will get through and into the meat on both sides and not just one. And then we'll take our meat hammer and flatten these out. That way they're the same thickness all the way throughout so they cook the same, cook evenly. Now let's get this thing marinated.
close this up <clears throat> and let it marinate for about 36 hours. We've let the breasts marinate. I pulled them out of the fridge and letting them warm up to room temperature. I also sliced up some onions and bell peppers. So we're gonna have that since we're having fajitas. <clears throat> letting these kind of warm up just a little bit more. And then we're gonna put them on the grill. I'm gonna set that grill to probably, well, I'm gonna set the grill to 400 and then uh, we'll put the breasts on there until they're about 115, 120. Then we'll flip them to the other side. And then from there, we'll let them get up to 135, 140, pull them off and we'll see how they taste. We are at 400 here. See about opening this guy up. Handles a little warm. Take our goose breasts. Get them on there. Actually, we'll do them on that side first. All right, got all four. Now we're going to put the veggies in there with them. We got the temperature deal in there. Give this a close. Set this. Put that food on there. We'll set that. 140. And we'll let her cook. All right. Ready to go. off the grill let it sit kind of cool off for a minute want to see about putting a little bit of seasoning on it I'm gonna sprinkle some Bolner's fajita seasoning on it okay let's see about doing the honors Get some of these veggies. Put a little bit more fajita seasoning on it. Well, on the veggies. Give this a go. Mm. That is so good. I think those vegetables really, really uh, gave it the fajita taste. Um, I probably didn't didn't marinate it right or season it right to make it taste truly like fajitas but um, with these veggies on it definitely is a uh, do again hope y'all enjoyed this video if you don't mind hitting that thumbs up hit that subscribe button and we'll see y'all next time